off to I am, I am with Joanne, Amelia's mum, because she is joining too, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So th we're doing that this morning and then we are going home to the Upside Down we're House. We're doing Beth Tweedle mm -hmm. Gymnastics. Yeah, Beth Tweedle Gymnastics. We're in the Barbie car again. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to call it a gymnastics car. A gymnastics car. Yeah. And a girl's mobile. Oh, the football the must be in there today, the footballers, because everybody's yeah. going over, aren't they? Yeah training academy just there so yeah that's our plans for today gymnastics then home to the house of upside down just because the kitchen is an absolute tip yeah it's still not done we are two cupboards further than we was on the last vlog um, and we've been told it's going to take even longer because they've come into loads of complications and we now need new tiles and everything else so it's a little bit upside down, but I'll show you all that when we go. It's in Kirby High School. My high school! It'll be your high school, won't it? It's in Kirby High School today. I have no idea where it is. I've never been to this school before. This is fairly new, this isn't it, actually? This wasn't even out when I was a kid. So it's all, all the high schools got knocked down and rebuilt. So I think it was about eight years ago. Hopefully we find it. We've got 15 minutes anyway. Yeah, we're 15 minutes early though, aren't we? So. Are you excited, Renee? Yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited, Ebony? What did you think? Good one. Hmm. Yeah, they made Amelia sit out most of it, didn't they? Aye. They let her do her warm ups and then said that went out to physiotherapists. Let her, she wasn't allowed to join in in most of it, which was a little bit sad, even though you know your limits, don't you? Aye. Hey. But, um, yeah. So, so, but you can go back, you can go back for another taster, can't you? But it's put it off now, which is sad. But did you like it? Yeah. It was right up your street, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But do you want to go back? Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Web? Yeah. What do you think? Good. It was good. And do you want to go back? Yeah. I want to go back. Yeah. Um, what? He, he was holding back the other one. And then we were doing the practice the first round. The girls said and said they broke her back. That's why I think we should make it sit out. Oh. Yeah. Okay. A sticker and a signed autograph, wasn't it? Hey. By Beth Tweedle. By Beth Tweedle. I'm not actually sure who she is. Apparently, she's a famous gymnast, isn't she? Yes, she's an Olympic she bronze. She's a witch. An Olympic bronze medal. Oh, right, okay. Didn't know that. Look, it says in here. So today, I'm finishing the last of these, smashing them all off. But well, I'm nearly done from one side. Just gonna finish the other side. But it won't be long before they're all done.
progress just a little bit round years ago and then I'm all done. We are home and um, the update on the kitchen. I know Joe's been vlogging but I'm not sure what he said. So the last time we videoed we said that he'd mi missed a load of kitchen so we went back and brought the kitchen back and then he was stopping the next day. When he came the next day he built the two top cupboards and was like but the wrong size and we were going to keep them and then I was like oh but them cupboard doors aren't gonna fit so then he had to then get rid of them because he couldn't take them back because he'd already built them he had to then go and get new cupboards which were the right size and then he come back and he was like there's another thing that's wrong um he's bought a housing unit for the cooker for underneath the sink which would have been fine because he didn't need the shelf anyway but it didn't have the holes for doors and it didn't have a back on it so he had to go and change that for a suitable one again and then he built this cupboard just here which is a bottom cupboard and he was going to build the other one two three cupboards and leave them up in the living room but then said he weren't coming back until next week so we were like no you're not you can't do that it's not safe with the kids so you're just gonna have to come back next week so when he was putting these cupboards up he had to knock down tiles um and said that he'd replace any that he broke and then when he went and checked the tiles that we had he didn't have enough to replace them so he then said that he had, we had to get completely new tiles so we picked the new tiles and he said he'd be back next week but it's going to take about another three weeks until it's completely done um because he'd have to knock the tiles off and everything so joe said he'd save him a job by knocking the tiles off for him to save time but he's coming back like mid next week it's not even the start of next week so it's going to be a while now before it's even finished but we were talking to our neighbor who said it'd be fairly easy for, for joe to build these bottom cabinets because it's literally he's taking things out and putting things in so if it's not completed soon i think we might just go ahead and complete it and our neighbor said he knows how to cut the worktops so he will do that part for us as well and then the landlord can just pay for an engineer it's got it's it's a little bit upside down it really is everything's just a little bit all over the place at the moment we're getting new toilets um the two pence plumber update on him he never returns and the reason he never returns is because the toilet system that he was trying to replace is over 20 years old and they couldn't find it and when they did find it it was more expensive than getting two new toilets so we spoke to the landlord and we said you know probably be better for you to just get two new toilets rather than have to pay for that piece for that toilet and that piece for that toilet and then in five months time it could break again then you're paying that again wouldn't it just be easier to get two new toilets and he said you're right it is it will be better to just get two new toilets so we're getting two new toilets tomorrow which is a bit chaotic because so the things out of the back kitchen toilet it back kitchen cupboards that are not like dishes and stuff like that but you know paints and things and all in the bottom toilet along with a dryer so now we have to take all of that out into this into all of this and um while well, the toilets get replaced and also we've got like this black box and you'll have seen it in our um sink on plumbing video where we where we unblock the sink we've got like black boxing around the whole toilet he's having to take all that out so now we need a joiner for that i think the one who's doing the kitchen's going to do that so god knows how long we're going away for that and everyone wants to say something come on so basically because i'm like dead told there's like these bars and you had to like stand uh, in gymnastics are you yeah, know about in, on this red thing so you could like put your knees in and then like hold on to the bars and go on that yeah I had to stand on the mat because of how tall I was. Yeah, she was the tallest person there and she couldn't I use the apparatus that they had to help you do so them. The lollies, it's really it's warm, isn't it? It's 23 Celsius and today. It's September. It is. It's September 7th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, we must be getting an Indian summer, they call it, don't they, when you get hot weather in September. Moving closer to the sun right now. We're what? Moving closer to the sun. We were further away from the sun in the um, summer, so now we're going closer to the sun in summer. So we're getting like a nice warm winter yeah, instead. So. Well, that's good because we go on holiday soon, and I want it to be warm. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. It'll be, like, it'll be like hot, but breezy, nice and cold. Yeah, it that's won't be nice. Like hot. Yeah, yeah, it'll just it'll be be like lukewarm. Be lukewarm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. And the girls got these. I think I've already showed these, but um, signed autographs. She is a bronze olympic medalist 2012 and there's like a few little things that she's achieved so i'm going to get them a little picture frame for this 
the be both girls got one and they got a stick or two. Well, a couple of hours have passed now. Nevada's just taken a nap over there. Joe has gone up to his mum's to cut the gardens for her and like tidy around the house and stuff. We are in the middle of getting rid of all of the clutter out of Sue's house. Are she's become. Talking? Can I show everyone the cartwheel? Yeah, um, she's become quite a little hoarder in all age, and she buys things that she doesn't need to buy, and she's been taking things off people that she doesn't need to take, and it's taken up all of her space in the house. So we're kind of in the middle of decluttering it bit by bit for her. Um, we're getting a we're getting a skip, and we are going through everything. But in the meantime, Joe's like getting everywhere prepped for it. We were supposed, I was supposed to go up with him, but Ebony didn't want to go out all the way up to Nansted just a day in the heat. Yeah. But Matthew wanted to go because he wants to help Joe declutter the house. Um, and obviously I couldn't leave Ebony here on her own with Zach because he's still a little too young where she is okay with Matthew because he's 15. Um, so I've ended up staying in with these, these lot. What, what are we to tell? I think I've got something in it. Because look, see there's that I think so. maybe it, it looks like a little blister to be fair. Probably, is that Probably. and we didn't even talk about this. Look at Renee's hair. Renee, come here, show your hair. Oh, it's not going to be nice no more, is it? Off lying on the wall. Lying on the wall. <laughs> You're waiting for your friends. We blew, blow dried her hair last night. It was a lot straighter than this, wasn't it? Yeah. And look at how straight her hair is, Tin. Tin, turn your body. There it is, all straight. What, how does it feel to have straight hair and not curly? Mm. What's up? Hey, mm. are you in such a bad mood? She's in a little bit of a mood because the friends don't want to play out at the minute. It's a little bit warm, isn't it? It's like that middle of the day where it's absolutely boiling. Ebony's just making herself some lunch. What are you actually making? Noodles. Noodles. Nearly. You're getting there. Yeah. Needs a little bit more practice. Yeah. Maybe you just you need to just... figure out how to swing those legs over. What's that all over your top? Well, the eyes stayed off the thing that we had to be pushing up on. Oh, yeah. You had to slither like a snake, didn't you? Up a beam. Yeah. That was, was fun. Dirty, so. mm. Come back in now. She's in a lot better of a mood. You're happier now, aren't you? Yeah. Hey? But your friends still didn't come out to play, did they? No. No, you just decided to come went to a camper van in Southport and one and just went to play out. The other ones went to his sister's. And, um, Who's Sophie, gone to the sister's? You and? Yeah. And um, Sophie is having a sleepover in a friend's house. Ah, yeah. So they're all busy. They're all the wires occupied. And then your other friend from around the corner has gone to the park, hasn't he? Yeah. So they're all otherwise occupied. So it's just the girls. Amelia doesn't want to play out. She really does not get on well with the heat, though, does she? I think she's a little bit deflated because of what happened this morning with um, the gymnastics, isn't she? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have to see if we can do something to cheer her up in a bit. But Renee wants to show you some things that she learned today. Yeah. Yeah, you already knew how to do cartwheels, didn't you? Mm -hmm. But what did she teach you to do? She teach me how to land like this. She taught you how to land it. Go on, then. Let's, sh let's see it. Okay, stop because I can't. Wait, wait, wait. I can't understand what you're saying because you're talking so fast. I'm just showing you guys how I do the side copies. You do one. That side copy I do, and this is the one that I do with all time. Oh, yeah. And now, uh, what other copies? Wow. You already knew all of these, though, didn't yeah. you? Uh, so, what did she that. show us what she taught you how to do? She told me how to go like, so she told me to do this, mm -hmm. like, and then go like this, and then you go like this, and 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 you go like this, and
Ah, uh, yeah. It, and like a bow, wasn't it? And then it? you go, thank you coaches and boys go like this. Yeah. So girls do two hands. And boys do one hand. Oh yeah. Whatever hands that are. She also taught us this. Not like the split, but it's like how to practice like the split like this. Ah, uh, yeah. No, With it wasn't that. It was, it was this. Yeah, but I couldn't do that because I'm not flexible. I was doing this. You're not flexible. You just got to practice. I also she was teaching us how to do this. Yeah. And then... Are you holy but blessed? Yes. I don't know where that. Holds. Every pair of socks. Look, Every I, pair. Look, I don't know where that holes come from because it wasn't there this morning. Hmm. But I was doing Real child work. toenails. Can I show? That's possibly where it's can coming I, from. Can I that was your stretches though, wasn't it? That she was teaching yeah. us, yeah. I'm you the but you went on the balance and bars. And then, um, she said, I want a perfect Christmas. And then she said, we have yeah. to go like this. Like You're asking for balance bars for Christmas, but they are very expensive. And we don't have a lot of space, so we will have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can find some that are like outdoor ones. Um, because even though they're foldable, where, where are we going to put them? Upstairs under our bed. But yeah. under your bed is full already with Barbies yeah. and baby dolls yeah. and other toys. You can just, like, get the bars but, and then put them outside. Yeah, but they need to be, like, weatherproof, otherwise they'll get destroyed and they're very expensive. So we'd need to find somewhere to put mats and a balance bar until we've got a shed, so... That won't work. So we just have to we have to see for now because your Christmas list is already massively high, isn't it? You want new scooters and everything else. Skates. Yeah. I want an iPhone button. No, you're not having an iPhone 13, so you can get that out of your head. Dad said he will see for Well, you shouldn't listen to Dad because... For my birthday. Because what is the rule for Christmas? What is the rule? No main gifts. No! What, what is our thing that we do for Christmas? Something. No main gifts. No, something you want. You want something something you, you need. Something to wear. And it balance bars. <laughs> yes, and I need And then what to else? Wear. And something, something to, to read. No, it's something read. To something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read. You don't have to get enough to eat. You don't need food. What? The only thing I need is the only thing I need is balance bars because I'm going to gymnastics and I need both. <laughs> oh, they are very hyper today. Very hyper. But um, yeah, they enjoyed it. As you can see, they enjoyed it. I'm going to try and make shape some sort of shape in this house, like make it look a little bit better. And sometimes you think you're making it look a little bit better, and then you sit down, and you're like, it's oh. It looks no different. But I think what I'm going to start doing is moving the things out of the downstairs bathroom into different places. So that is ready for the plumber to come tomorrow. And Joe hasn't got to do that when he gets home as well. So I suppose we better get to it. So we've just been a tiny, we were looking for a mop, couldn't find one, so I found a mop head. I'll make my own stick for it until I can get to get a mop from Tesco's. Well, sharp edge, see. Um, because in a tiny, mate, it's rubbish. Well, it's eight quid for a mop in one place, and then 150 for a mop head, I'm going for a mop head. So, I'm going to my mum's now, I'm going to do a garden. I've been doing a house over the past couple of, um, few, about two weeks now, like, in different rooms. So, I've done it all upstairs. Downstairs, at the kitchen. I'm just in the gardens right now while it's sunny, and then I've got to go back inside once the skip comes on Wednesday and just lash everything that I put in bin bags to be going into the bin. But right now, we're off to Nanny's, aren't we? We're going to get the lawnmowers out and make sure if you can have somewhere to sit down comfortably in the garden when it's nice like this. But she just sits and stares out the window. She just needs to sit and stare out the window because. 
she's got all the tools and all the apparatus that she needs to sit in the garden in the sun just no one to cut the garden and you may think how oh, no one to cut the garden but there's five of us and i got a little bit grumpy and like i'm not doing it i'm not doing it but um i am doing it and i'm gonna keep doing it until she stays the way i'm happy with so we'll come back to you when we're in the garden won't we the ace the camera this is my job for today i'll show you when i'm finished but this is how i'm starting little mashup videos you know me doing it but this is what i'm starting with halfway through the grass what? so i'm over here by the grazing sort of if you can make out right now i just got that half to do half these bushes half that tree over there these pivots down here this and then sort out this area here so too much later about another hour i reckon it'd help if you didn't have all this in the garden off the dogs, little buggers, but we need to nufty butter them. Finish for today. All trimmed down, all trimmed back, all trimmed back. That's for the skip. And then we're giving it another cut when um, I get there. But hey, presto, all done. Cusses and sauces. Dogs are so happy. Like, sniffing around, like, where's all my stuff gone? Like, what have you done to me garden? Hey, where's all the grass? Where's all the bushes? Now, I've locked all up. I'm going to grab my kid. Here's Nanny over there. Hi! And then we're going to go home. Nanny's going to wash the couch cushions. Because yeah. he needs a wash. Now it's tea time. And I completely forgot I was vlogging. Um, I think the last clip that you'll have seen from me anyway was me moving things from out of the down to this bathroom into different places. And that's all sorted now. I've just got to do a quick hoover around and stuff like that to get it completely done. But now I'm cooking tea. After I did that, I went outside with the baby so the baby could have a little play outside when she woke up. Sat with Amelia's mum again, for a little bit, had a little gab. And now I'm in cooking tea. I'm just making homemade burgers. It feels like this is all I ever do on this channel, make homemade burgers. But kids want burgers this week and I'm taking the opportunity before cooker gets turned off because I think he said we're going to be without it for 24 hours. Joe and Matthew are still out, Ebony and Renee are just in their friends in, in their back garden. Nevaeh's running around in the living room dancing and dancing and Zach is upstairs playing his computer so I thought I'd get a head start on tea because it's 20 past four now. So I'm going to cook all the burgers up so they're just ready and waiting for when the chips and stuff are done and then when everybody comes floating in saying the hungry, it's all made up for them. So that's another good thing. Invisible children. <laughs> he actually came out of his pit. He actually knows how to walk down the stairs. What did you come down the stairs for, though, Zach? Oh, food and drink. The only time he ever leaves the pit when he's coming to do his chores or for food. I actually went out, swept Matthew, and walked the dog. Ah, you did. I'll give you that one. But why did you walk the dog? To get more food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can I just say something? You went like, to the shop to no, get some Matthew, snacks. Matthew said that. Dad said I had to go. Well, that's right. you got to get a little bit of vitamin D <laughs> in your body. Otherwise, you're going to end up rickets. So I'm rickets. It's like brittle bone disease. If you don't get enough vitamin D, your bones go to dust Fill when you walk and you're just breaking to tiny little pieces and evaporates. <laughs> it's not funny. It's deadly serious. <laughs> Were you feeling after your busy day? You cut all your nan's garden and everything, didn't you, with dad? I didn't cut the garden, I cleaned. 
Oh, you cleaned all the garden then. How are you feeling? Foot your foot's hurting, yeah. isn't it? So, Matthew, what did you do to your foot? I think I pulled it really bad. That's why I'm just saying that. I don't know what I did to it, but... About two weeks ago now, he was walking the dog and he was playing on next door's scooter, wasn't he? Yeah. You were scooting around with our Ebony having a competition. And he didn't twist it or anything like that. And then he come in and he was like, oh, my foot's really hurt. And I think I've done a little bit too much today, which he had. He ran all around the field with yeah. the dog and everything. And then, yeah, so we were like, just rest it. You're probably just like, you know, strained it or something. And as the days went on, it got worse. So I was like, I think we need to take you to hospital to get it checked. And then on the day that we were taking you to hospital, it miraculously got better. He was like, it's better now, mum. Don't need to go. Look, I can move it. I can walk on it. He went back out to walk on the dog again. And then two days later, he was like, no, this is in agony again. But every time I say to him, shall we go to hospital? He's like, I don't think there's anything serious with it. I think it's just like really being pulled. But I reckon if it carries on pain and yeah, like that much longer, we are going to have to go get it checked just to be certain. We I'm are in the I'll doctor's. I'll my ground. I'll put chains on my feet. I'll put chains on my feet. I'll, I'll stick myself to the ground. Okay. What rather than go to the distance. hospital? Yeah. They're not going to do anything to you, they just x-ray you. Really quickly, Potter. <laughs> no, no, I'm just like... I'm going to cut off your foot and just lay... Like, um, just gonna get we are in the doctors this week, so... Oh, maybe yeah, we could mention it. Oh, no, it's this week. Not this week. It's no. Week right it's now. the third right now. Yeah. But tomorrow. Next week. Yeah, tomorrow. The doctors in a couple of days' time, so we can mention it to him. But he might suggest that we go to the hospital anyway. I'm not going to go to the hospital. Can I just say something? It's better to get a check in friend. case there's something that needs to be fixed. Well, you well, never well, know, well. you never know. What, what do you want My to say? My biggest threat is that if he doesn't shut up, I'm going to stand on the foot. If he doesn't shut up, what? If he doesn't shut up, I'm going to stand on the sofa. foot. You are so violent. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. But yeah, this is the situation we're in right now. Matthew's got a sore foot, but yet he refuses to let us take him to check if anything's wrong with it. And then he proves to us it's not sore by going on, going on a run with the dog and then makes it worse. I, I, I jogged to Nan's today, yeah, because we forgot a bag. And um, I was perfectly fine. It's just because I've used it too much today. It's because he's used it too much. Lazy no, <laughs> Joe, Joe says it's lazy itis because his body hasn't been used to sitting up anything but walking up and down the stairs for the past few years. <laughs> it could be. It could possibly be. Uh, you want more Nem Nams? You a lovely big brother giving your sister your chocolate bar. So is that only because you've got a secondary one in your pocket and one upstairs? Maybe. <laughs> oh no you did you gave her one last night as well didn't you i did eat half of it because you know chocolate and all and i don't eat much of it and Vaya yeah, is, is it if you don't think i'm out of it she thinks it's poison. she was definitely a queen in a past life with a taste tested of all of the foods wasn't she yeah <laughs> yeah makes us have a bite of every bit of food that she eats whether it's like soup or anything we have to taste it and then go there you go yeah that's what i think i honestly think that or that she was like a queen who had a food tester definitely <laughs> because she was just an I, 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 I. she was a what <laughs> she was a pfft, apparently <laughs> yeah but she she does she, she makes us even before we started like feeding her she always wanted all of us to taste the food didn't she before she'll touch it it's dead strange the way she does it so we all each of us have to have a bite or pretend to have a bite out of something before she'll touch it even drinks as well unless it's her own bottle of milk or coke said to joe do you want to be in the end of this video and matthew wants no because he's got no nips <laughs> He has got nips, he's just got no top on. That's Neither is Nevea. So while they're quiet over there, I am gonna end the video. And I am in the middle of editing it as I'm ending this. There is quite a bit, it's a bit mishy-mashy, but this is just another day in our life of what we're getting up to. Oh, I will up the I <laughs> typical teenager. We'll up update the vlog about the kitchen <laughs> as the days go on because it's a little bit mishmash, isn't it? It's all over the place, a bit like our lives. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a huge thumbs up, subscribe and click the notification bell. We upload new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. See you again soon. Bye. Six little lives.